Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation. We're going to apply the chain rule. We're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, f of x equals the fourth root of negative three x to the fourth minus two. Okay, so it's the fourth root of uh, negative three x to the fourth minus two. When I'm derived, I don't necessarily like to see uh, roots there. So I'm going to rewrite this to be f of x is equal to parentheses negative 3 x to the fourth minus 2, all to the one fourth power. So at this point here, all right, these are the same, it's the same function, all right, it's right to the one fourth power instead of the fourth root. Let's go find my f of g. Well, if f I can write as x to the one fourth power, g I can write what's inside the parentheses as negative 3 x to the fourth minus 2. And I can see if I plug that in for my x, I have my f of g right there, right? My f of g. So let's go find f prime. So f prime is 1 fourth x to the negative 3 fourths power. Okay, which we the x1 up by 1. And g prime is negative 12 x to the third. Okay? So now I want to find, find my derivative, and I'll find the chain rule, and, um, and use my formula up there. So we have f prime of x is equal to, equal to, f prime of g, so f prime being one fourth times parentheses, whatever is uh, my g, all to the negative three fourths power. g, we know to be negative three x to the fourth minus two, and we multiply that by g prime, which is negative 12 x to the third, okay? So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simplify my final step here, f prime of x, okay? The 12 and the 1 fourth, they kind of cancel out right there, and we have a 3. So that 12 becomes a 3, right, because 1 fourth times 12 is a 3. We kind of see that it's all multiplication, kind of going up over those parentheses. And then, so we have our negative exponent. So I don't want that in my numerator. I'm going to put it to the denominator. So I have a negative 3x to the fourth minus 2 in the denominator, all to the positive 3 fourths power, right, bringing this part down. I already multiplied the 12 times the... 1 fourth to eliminate that to get 3. So we have a negative. We can put the negative up front if you want, or I'll put the t a 3. And negative up there, we have 3x to the third. And we have everything brought down. So now we have our final answer is f prime of x is equal to a negative 3x to the third over parentheses, negative 3x to the fourth minus 2, and parentheses to the third, 3 fourths power. So let's recap. We are, we're given f of x equals fourth root of negative three x to the fourth minus two. I rewrote that to be uh, instead of a radical to the one fourth power. So then from there I found my f of g, and then I found my f prime and g prime. I then took my derivative uh, right here on this step here, being f prime of g times g prime. After that I simplified. So at this point I have my calculus. It's all all calculus I really use right there. After that, it's just algebra simplifying to give me my final answer, which is f prime of x is equal to a negative 3x to the third over uh, parentheses negative 3x to the fourth minus 2 and parentheses to the positive 3 fourths 